here we are back again a lot of work already done as you see so i matched together the oil pan uh, without changing the gasket i have a new one but uh, unfortunately it's not possible to put in position so i prefer simply to use a light coat of uh, sealant okay like this one and uh, i torque it down every bolt you have a lot of bolts with different lengths so take care do everything right then I put back the timing cover, as you see, in this case you have not a gasket, you need to use the sealant. I change the water pump with a new one and I put back, back every detail uh, um, of the uh, thermostat housing. And as you see already I have put the um, timing uh, chain tensioner, this is uh, uh, this has a torque of 80 Newton meters. Put this before doing any uh, other different activities on the chain, okay, involving a uh, rotation of the hinging and moving the chain. Then I put back the uh, sprocket for the cam shaft, okay, with the new screws, 18 Newton meters. I put back all the plastic details with the two pins one here and one here okay i change the chain of the oil pump i change the little plastic uh, guide and everything i change also the uh, oil gear uh, sprocket so everything is working nice over there then i put back the main crank pulley i put a new bolt and uh, washer this is torque down to this is a 8.8 .8 market bolt so it's torque down to um, 200 newton meters plus 90 degrees you need a long bar you need a piece of pipe and you need an helper okay this is serious affair then i put back the timing sprocket timing pump sprocket i with an helper i take it in place okay by hand and uh, starting from the hinging that was sitting at uh, uh, ot so at the uh, top dead center of cylinder number one i move to 14 degrees after top dead center cylinder number one honestly that is a little complicated because this sprocket is not collaborating at all so probably you will need an helper to keep the sprocket and uh, you will need to remove this space and use a branch directly on this part of the um, cam this is a uh, 27 millimeters or 30 i'm i'm not i don't remind remind exactly but you need to rotate uh, a little here okay two or three degrees then a little here and finally you arrive at uh, 14 degrees after top of that center at this point you can put a pump okay you have uh, a bracket here with the first screw on the back and then you have uh, the three long bolts here on the front after that you put the left traded bolt the center sprocket bolt this is 45 newton meters this is 25 newton meters however check the torques by yourself do your homework and here i want to show you one little detail little difficult to show unfortunately but uh, over there I mean, let me, here we are, there is a little bolt, 18 mm, 8 millimeters, you see the head, okay, rotating that yellow bolt, you can change the position of the pump, so the sprocket is matching the chain, so it's not any longer moving, but uh, if you rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise that little bolt you are able to move the body of the pump in this way so you can 
um, regulate the pump at the state in which finally you have the main pulley at the top dead center of cylinder number one you have the sprocket on the cam sitting nicely so you can put the pin here in the hole and then you finally will see the head of the governor the blade i mean that you see from the hole sitting nicely just on the middle of the bolt at that point you can try to make some rotation always clockwise your engine and check again that everything is sitting nicely if not try to rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise the screw that you have here to change the position of the pump in this way okay so you can finally obtain the correct position of the blade in the hole then you close you torque down these three long bolts in the front and the, fir the fourth that you have over there and your engine is complete then we're going to put the vacuum pump we put the radiator all the houses we will put the cover and uh, everything back together that you already know